is rolling through right now with wind speeds at 70 miles per hour. So you can see right now tracking that is going to make it to Texas by late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and then slowly making its way across Texas as we head into your Tuesday. So of course, it'll start to lose momentum, lose speed once it makes landfall. But we are talking about anywhere from 8 to 12 inches of rain for some parts of Texas. So a very different story than what we are seeing right here on the West Coast. You can see all of these watches and warnings, really everyone across California feeling this heat and especially in Southern California our excessive heat warnings now extended into Thursday. So all the pink you see on your screen you're going to see temperatures well into the triple digits as we head into the next couple days and we're already noticing it out there today. Several areas setting new records. So Lancaster coming in with a new all time high at 115. Palmdale and Sandburg setting new daily records at 114 and 101. Big Bear you tied your record once again today at 91 degrees and then for for good measure, places where it's a little bit cooler, right? Santa Monica coming in upper 60s and then Disneyland at 85 degrees. So uh, there is really no beating the heat out there today. 105 Palmdale and then even out towards San Bernardino, we've got unhealthy for sensitive groups. That's the orange on your screen. And then this patch of red near San Bernardino is unhealthy for everyone. So we do have this air quality warning that's going to be sticking around till Tuesday. So if you are sensitive to this, it's a great time overall to stay inside over the next couple days. Maybe pump that uh, and all of this due to the fact that we just have this dome of high pressure really sitting over the entire West Coast and not budging much. So it does break down just a tad today and into tomorrow. So temperatures will be a little bit cooler, if you can call it that, before they start to warm up once again. Warm, a little bit warmer Tuesday, Wednesday, coming in the low 90s. Then by end of week, every day, we cool by a degree or two, making it to the mid 80s by the time we get to next weekend. Cooling down to 106 and 106. 04 by next weekend, but Michelle and Jory, just some but dangerous, dangerous heat combo still out there, there this weekend. Released. Once again, it is dry, it is windy, and it is hot. So we do have this red flag warning in place along the I-5 corridor. This is going to be sticking around until early Monday morning. Again, a very dangerous fire conditions for all those crews battling those flames. You can see most of Southern California noticing wind speeds at least in the teens, if not higher. Fraser Park seeing winds upwards of 30 miles per hour as you head into the Inland Empire and further south. Most most areas noticing those wind speeds in the teens. That's the good news. But Riverside, San Bernardino, Banning, even into Hemet, all noticing winds upwards of 20 miles per hour. And uh, it's impossible to have these excessive heat warnings still in place. But you'll notice now extended until Thursday. So temps well into the triple digits still sticking around for the inland areas, the deserts. And we are already breaking some records today once again. We'll break it all down in the full forecast. But for now, I'll toss it back to you, too. All right, Shelly.